Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah Mia, also known as VIP Hanger on Poshmark, VIP Hanger on Mercari, and the VIP Hanger on Instagram. If you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new post. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Um, if you saw my video that was uploaded previous to this one, which was on Sunday, um, I let you know that I was gonna be doing a thrift haul video, my very last thrift haul of 2018. This thrift haul actually took place a little over two weeks ago, but I work full time and with holiday in full swing and working retail full time, it's just been banana. So I haven't had a chance to film or even work through this inventory. So, and I know it's gonna be the last one of this year. Today's the 30th, today is Sunday the 30th. Uh, tomorrow is the 31st. So I'm not gonna be able to thr thrift tomorrow. I know that for sure because I'm flooded in and I don't have a car. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make this my very last thrift haul of 2018. We'll go ahead and get started. I've got three bags, let's just dig into it. Um, and I wanted to start this before some of my other videos so that I could get this posted while the season is appropriate. Um, and you may see this little one back here. This is a We The Free, size small. This is like a little cheetah leopard print thermal um, long sleeve. And this was in the uh, reseller box in the video previous to this. So um, that's why I've got that out and hanging here because that was the most seasonally appropriate in that box for me to post now in addition to the items that I'm about to show you. So we'll go ahead and get started with the first bag. Um, looks like this is all shoes. I spent 150 on three bags. I don't remember the exact item count. I actually had to look in my banking app to see what the cost was, my very last Goodwill purchase, um, and that was on the 11th, and I haven't been back since. Um, but I couldn't find the receipt, so I know it's 150. I'll have to count these later and then um, notate how many items I had and what the price per item is. I wanna say it was a little over 20 items, but I'll count it just to be sure. So first up, these are so beautiful, and I'm considering keeping them for myself. They're Massimo, just the Target brand, um, but they're like a blue, or they are a blue, navy blue velvet boot with a zip up inside, or an inside uh, zipper, ankle zipper, and then the lace up boot part, and the soles are in really good condition. Pretty good. And I'm pretty sure I got these on clearance, but um, gosh, it's been so long and I need to find the receipt so I know exactly, but I can go off the price here. And more often than not, um, I only buy brands like Massimo if it's on the 75% off rack. So I'm pretty sure I got these on clearance, um, but these are gonna be for me and if they don't fit, then I'll resell them. But they're so cute. Little, um, they need some cleaning here. I wouldn't say new buck, I doubt they're real leather, they're Massimo. So anyway, super cute. Here's the other one. I love them so much. They're so cute. Anyway, moving on, because I could spend all day on those. Oh, here's the receipt. Oh, that's not the right receipt. That's for something else. <laughs> Never mind. It may be in here somewhere. All right, next up, I've got these really beautiful, what are these? Shoe Dazzle. Um, quilted velvet pumps. And they've got that wide block heel. Again, what size are these? Seven and a half. And they've got the little ankle strap at the top. Put this one down so I can show you. And then it's just got the little buckle clasp. So cute. So I'll have to reshape the toe a little bit just because they were kind of hanging out all together in the bag. Um, but they were under the bed, so they were protected. They were just out of the way. Plus, kind of to reduce the dog hair situation because I do have two dogs and I do notate that my house is pet friendly um, but I do all of my thrifting and my hauling my videotaping uh, when they are put away so that um, I can just reduce the amount of dog hair that I have to lint roll later all right third pair of shoes these are if Carini I know nothing about these this brand these are brand new you can see the paper still in them there's like nowhere oops <laughs> Nowhere on the heel and look at that. Isn't that so pretty? I love the plaid. The navy plaid is so nice And these are size 8 So that I mean there's a few little 
scuffs and dents that look like more from storage and not from use. I don't know if you can see on this one. I don't know if that's coming in, but there's a few scratches. It looks like it just scuffed something, but there's not any wear to the heel or to the sole of the. So anyway, super cute. I mean, again, I don't know anything about this brand, but I thought the pumps themselves are really cute. Um, so if it goes up. All right, first bag done. All right, second bag. This one is also shoes, and then the third bag is clothes. Second bag. Also, I know nothing about this brand of shoes. I have to look them up, but I got them based on the style. They are so adorable. They're a blue denim, and they've got this uh, like embroidered. Um, this feels kind of like like retro. Um, what is that material? It kind of. It, it looks like and it feels like if plastic bags were twisted really tight and then woven in. I don't. I have a hair in my eye. I don't recall what that's called. Um, but everything else is embroidered and you can see they're kind of embellished or bedazzled whatever whatever term you want to use and then the back they're not kitten heels they're they're a pump but not too deep not too high really cute i thought these were awesome for spring so and again these are a size i want to say they were a size eight because i looked no seven and a half so they are the same size as the shoe dazzle shoes Next up, oh, here's the receipt. So, one forty nine seventy six for twenty items. So, an average price of about seven, which is a little higher. But, like I said, some things were intentionally for me, um, like those boots themselves. Those were um, the price is a little high if I paid full price, but I'm pretty sure I got them on discount. I'll have to d check again and see if I got them on discount. These also may be something that I keep. These are Cupid flat loafers. They're kind of like, um, almost like that robe material. They're not necessarily embroidered, but they, f they have like a satin silky finish to them. Yeah. They look like they're lined in leather, but I doubt they are, and I don't see any information that tells me otherwise, but yeah. I mean, you can see it's still got the sticker, but the sticker doesn't say anything. And these are a size nine. So I tried them on at the store. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't think I saw a size. I just went off what the bottom said. So these are size nine and they do fit me. Um, they're so cute. I can't decide if I'm gonna keep them or not. I feel like they're, they might still be good for winter transition to spring but they're just a little dark for spring anyway like I said I may keep these I may keep a lot of the things in here because they're so darn cute all right these also a size seven these are Franco Sardo and they're like a teal um, wedge like a low wedge but a flat I, I have to look up what this exact um, like type of shoe is you can see I need to re just remold that part there a Franco Sardo, and again, practically brand new. <laughs> Nothing going on on the sole or the heel. Very little to zero wear on the inside. They're really nice. These I wish were my size because I would keep them in a quick jiffy. They're so cute. And then the last pair of shoes are some, what brand was this? Oh, Justin. Couldn't remember if they were Red Wing or Justin, um, but I've been on the lookout for Red Wing. So these are some leather um, lace-up, not combat boots, but um, military style, I guess. I've got to lay this flat and get that reset. And it needs a bit of cleaning. You can see there's, looks like probably just dirt and mud on the top, but the bottoms are still in really good condition. Yeah, I did check these when I was there. The laces were in good condition. The the rivets and those um, hooks, everything's still here. Good condition. Boot. I looked up comps already, so it was worth the price that I paid for these, which I'm pretty sure was a discount on that. So I, th yeah, I won't reveal the price, but when they sell, I will. Um, anyway, yeah. Pretty sturdy boot. Excited for those. And these are a size 7. So 
unfortunately again, not my size. Alright, next up, my third bag. My hair is driving me nuts. I know it probably looks moppy, but I went out to the storage unit, which is outside, and I had to do some work out there and also let the dogs out, and it was raining, so I got all just moppy, gross and cold and wet out there, so I put on my snuggest sweater and here I am. So this is still the same night as the video I filmed on uh, the one previous to this. This is still Sunday night. I just changed uh, in it unintentionally to film this video, so there you go. I hope you enjoy the new sweater. All right, first step. I've got this Disney pajama, super cute. Little Miss Piggy. It's got the little hood. It's new with tag. You can see the tag here. Somewhere. There it is. <laughs> and then she's got her little necklace, her cheetah print, onesie, classic Miss Piggy. She's got her little belt. So adorable. Alright, next up, I found this Under Armour bra, like practically brand new condition, this tag, this cutaway tag, it's like so stiff, it feels like it's brand new. It's Under Armour size medium, and then it's got the spell out along the bottom, this top part, there's no snags, no wear, it's like a brand new top. Um, but I thought this would be a good, a good post, especially for this time of year, everybody's getting back to the gym and setting their fitness and wellness goals, so. All right, third, Anne Klein, New York, size four. This, oh my, I love this blazer. It's so beautiful. I did a really good inspection at the thrift store because I couldn't believe what I was seeing, how stunning this was, and nobody grabbed it. And I know that this was on clearance, so. I don't know if you guys can see this wine red. Oh, speaking of wine. Cheers. <laughs> it's not quite New Year's Eve, but I'm off this weekend until Tuesday, so it's my New Year's Eve. I worked all day yesterday. I'm gonna be working most of the day tomorrow, so I'm just gonna celebrate all weekend. <laughs> so anyway, a little fitted jacket. Uh, gosh, this is just stunning. And then these really shiny um, like bobble buttons they kind of have the shape or like the top part of a diamond even though they're flat on the back side so right, I love this jacket it's so pretty Anne Klein which I know is a good a good brand I've never resold Anne Klein before but I've seen good comps and um, I've seen it be picked up uh, frequently All right this is a uh, Larry Levine SPT, I'm assuming that's Sport. Uh, Larry Levine Stretch Sport Extra Large Blazer, denim chambered blazer. So this is similar to a Banana Republic one I have in my closet, which is a size two, and that one is new with tags. It doesn't have the actual price tag, but it has a little barb, you can tell, and it feels brand new, like it's never been worn. This one is also in really good condition. Um, oh, just a loose thread. Yeah, I just need to trim that. So. But I have been um, inspecting more on blazers because I unexpectedly found one with a ton of deodorant in it. And it's not something that I had expected. But as soon as I found that, later I watched a video by Shailene Sean and she mentioned looking out for that. So it's like the message was meant to be delivered to me some way or another. So anyway, back to this blazer. It's got little belt loops here you can see in the front. No, there's, there weren't, those are not pockets. I thought they were pockets, but that's actually uh, just the side here. I forget what this is called. The, the bast? Where it's stitched together. It's in really good condition. So This is really nice. Extra large. Oh, mm, I may keep this. We'll see if it fits. I have her between a large and an extra large. And it's like a dark blue, teal, black hard color to describe this one, but it's really pretty. Next up, what did I get? Oh yes, this one. So
so pretty. I love this thing. So this is a Vanity Fair, vintage Vanity Fair. Look at this pajama. Oh, I pulled the pockets out checking to see if there was anything in the pockets, but there was not. I haven't found any money yet, but it's coming. Anyway, I can do that later, sorry. Uh, this is a little embroidered Vanity Fair pajama. I didn't see the size tag, so I'll have to label it. I mean, I'll have to measure it and then label it with the measurements closest to what I think the measurements would be. Oh, I'm lying. It's a size small. Teeny tiny in the corner there. So this size small, super soft, like grandma robe, vintage robe, so pretty. And it's in immaculate condition, practically brand new condition. I mean, when you open it up, usually things like this, the inside is pretty pilled or worn out. You can see there's hardly any wear to this. There's no pilling on the inside. So this is like practically brand new. The only flaw that I can see now that I'm holding it like this is a tiny pinhole. I don't know if you can see. You can barely see it. Teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny pinhole. Anyway. I think you get the point. It's a tiny pinhole. These guys are pretty excited about bees because they are living coral. And if you don't know Pantone, um, the color chooser, color authority, um, Pantone has chosen living coral as 2019's color of the year. And look what I found, but a Larry Levine, Larry Levine, size 12, linen, living coral blazer. It's got shoulder pads in it. This part here, if you can see, it's just a closed cuff blazer, but it is lined. And it's got this really fun fold over, fold over cuffs, roll, roll up cuffs. So this would be so cute in the summer with a little button down underneath or even a tank top and jeans. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. So size 12, I'm between a 12 and a 14. This may fit, may not. I'm either gonna keep this or the blue jean one. I haven't decided. But don't fear, I have another one for you. This is a size four, cabbie. Also a living coral blazer, little jacket. Um, it's got like the fitted back part, very flattering with the buttons. And the buttons on the back match the button on the front. See that big guy? And then the cuffs, both of them, the buttons are accounted for. Both of them have these big button cuffs. So you can button them there or you can pop them up. Oh, oh I'm noticing some fading. I did not look at this in the store, so learn from me. You can see there's some fading to the cuffs where they probably did wear them rolled up. So I will definitely disclose that. Um, I'll give it a wash first and see if maybe it's not just dust or something that might have gotten picked up. Um, but otherwise, I'll disclose it. I'm sure it won't be a problem. It's not terribly stained, it's just lightly, lightly faded. So. And this jacket feels so nice, even though it's an older jacket. And the reason I know that is from the cabbie tag. So if you're new to reselling and um, you're in the market for picking up cabbie, this is the older cabbie label. The, big, the newer label is big. Um, it's really big and square. Um, this cabbie label, I've sold some cabbie, older cabbie, and it still sells, um, but it definitely does not sell for the price point that some of the newer stuff I've seen sells for. All right. One more living coral from this haul. This is a Dana Buckman woman size 22 and i've got to trim these little frays here on the size tag but again living coral this one's got some shoulder pad shoulder pads and this is the same kind of blazer where it just comes down to the bottom doesn't have any like buttons or closures and then it's got the split cuff and the inside is lined and it's lined in the same color but a satin fabric this one definitely needs steaming. I mean, everything will get steamed, of course, before the photo shoot, but really good condition. And I wanna say this was, was this one new with tags? No, I'm thinking of something else. But I thought I saw a spot. Teeny, 
tiny scarf. Yes, I did. So there's a spot here right on the sleeve. And I'm wondering. Anyway, I'll look at that later. How to clean that and how to get that out. All right, these next two gems are true gems, by the way, of my closet. I've never picked or seen either of these up, and now that I'm looking at one of them, that explains why my price point is so high, because I did pay up for this item. I'm gonna save that one for last. The second best to last for me, because I've never found this in the wild before. This is my very first piece. Whoosh! Lululemon. Now, you guys probably find Lululemon all the time, there are a lot of resellers at the Goodwill that I go to, and so for me to find this, it's like seeing a unicorn. So I'm really excited about it. I can't wait to list it. Um, it's got the built-in shelf bra, and then it's got this little uh, tank top that's attached, a little uh, very flowy mesh, not quite mesh, but definitely sheer tank top. And then the bottom has this adjustable band with the little Lulu, Lululemon logo so I'll have to look this up in this I know I saw the size tag somewhere in here like I said this is my first time finding Lululemon so I'm still learning my way around it I want to say when I was at the thrift store I discovered that it was a medium but I can't remember where I found that so as soon as I find it Well, we could be here all night. But we're not gonna be, so we're just gonna put this down and I will mark it the size that it is when I find it, wherever it is. All right, are you ready? This last piece is the piece de resistance. I found, I had to take a breath for this one. I found a Diane von Furstenberg and not only did I find a DVF, it's brand new with tags. It was $365, marked down to $139, yeah, 140 And I'm a little disappointed that I waited so long to go through this thrift haul because I forgot about this dress and this would have been great for New Year's, but it'll be great for Valentine's too. It's got this really pretty rose lace overlay and this sheer chiffon black top then the inside, the, I'm sorry, the waist you can see is fitted. And I would consider this a midi, mini midi. There are a few little snags at the bottom. Not snags, but just some um, pilling like these little guys. So I'll just trim these little, these little fuzzies off. But I can't believe I forgot about this. Yeah, I'm really excited to get this listed. I almost don't want to list this on my closet because it's going to make the rest of my stuff look like crap, but <laughs> I might send it into thread up. I don't know. We'll, we'll try around Poshmark, see how she does. So, so pretty. But my 20 items, and this is the reason why my price, my cost of goods was so high. I forgot that I purchased this. I thought it was just from the shoes. But getting to the bottom of the bag, I see now. It's like finding a gem, like finding a gem diamond in the rough. All right, everyone, that's all I've got for you. 20 items, $150, my very last thrift haul of 2018, definitely went out with a bang. I found Lululemon for the very first time out in the wild, like a unicorn. And Diane von Furstenberg, like, I'm dead. I'm dead. Cut the tape, we're done here. I will see you all in 2019. Thank you so much, have a happy new year, cheers where it's stitched together before you wear it and you're supposed to remove the stitching um, before you wear it. <laughs> before a Diane von Furstenberg, ber, ber, ber. <laughs> it's called fasting, basting, but not like basting a turkey. Anyway, this is gonna be the last one. Are you comfy?